Watch you guys got another video. Microsoft add Ask Copilot to the right click context menu. Remember the other week I made a video talking about Copilot and how Microsoft are embedding Copilot just about everywhere they can on Windows 11. Well, they're not stopping there. They've now added it to the right click context menu. And of course, what that means is when you right click on, say, for instance, an image or something like that, what you can see now is Copilot has been added. You can see there's Ask Copilot right here, edit with Clipchamp, also edit in Notepad, and also edit in Paint and Photo and things like that. So it seems they want to add Copilot just about everywhere. Now, some people might be happy with Copilot being added just about everywhere, like Notepad, Paint, and in the right-click context menu, and many other places. Some people might use it on a daily basis and find this really useful. I myself just find it pointless because at the end of the day, if you don't want Copilot and you uninstall it, it should be removed from all locations in one go. Unfortunately, like I showed the other day, even after uninstalling Copilot, it's still embedded in Paint, Notepad, and many other places. Now, before I show you how to uninstall it, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key? Then check out the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09. Apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key. You can use that to activate your version of Windows, just like you see on the screen right here. Links are in the video description. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove Ask Copilot from the right click context menu. If you're like me and you don't want Copilot at all, then you can remove it from all these locations. Now they've added it to the right click context menu, you're going to need to jump into the registry editor. Open up the registry editor by typing reg edit and click on the registry editor application. Say yes to the user account control, like so, and this will open up the registry editor. From here, we need to navigate to a location that you're going to see on the screen. So let's go to H key local machine, and then we need to go to software, then go to Microsoft, and then drill down all the way to Windows. So once we find Windows here, let me just expand this here so we can see a bit better. So I'm going to come all the way down till we find Windows. And once we get to Windows, we're going to click on this and open it up and go to the next location, which is current version. So let's open that up right here. I'm on a virtual machine, so it's a little bit slow here. Then go to current version here. This will open up and go to Shell Extensions. So come down and find Shell Extensions right here. So once we find Shell Extensions, we're going to open this up right here and we need to add a new key. So let me just go ahead and open this up. Right click on Shell Extensions and create a new key. This is the path right here. I'll leave a link for this in the video description so you can quickly navigate to this location. And I'll also give you a registry file which you can just double click on and install. So right click, go new, key. And we need to give this key a name. So let's call this blocked and then push enter. And then once we've pushed enter on the right hand pane inside the blocked directory, what we're gonna do is create a new string value. So right click, new string value, and just click on this one right here. And now we need to put in this code. I'll leave this code in the video description, but this is the code that I'm gonna be using right here. I'm just gonna paste that in. And once we've got this done, we need to double click on this new string value because we need to give it a value. And the value data name is gonna be Ask Copilot. So just type out Ask Copilot right here, like so. Need to put a capital uh, C there, so I'll quickly correct that. Just let me quickly go back and put a capital C. There we go, and push OK, and that entry has now been added. So let's quickly recap on what you need to do right here. So you need to navigate to that location right here in Show Extensions, add a key called Blocked, and then add a string value, give it this value right here, and then call it Ask Copilot, just like so. I'll leave a link for a, a file that you could just double click on and you won't have to go through all this palaver. Once this is done, you need to then open up the task manager by right clicking on the task bar. And what we need to do here is restart Windows Explorer here. So let's go ahead and up, open up task manager right here. 
Just navigate down to Windows Explorer. It's normally on the very bottom right here. Should be a yellow folder right here. There we go, Windows Explorer. Right click on this, restart, or you can restart your PC and it will do exactly the same thing. This is just a quicker way of doing it. And now that's now done. We can close off Task Manager. Right click on this image right here and it will be removed from the right click context menu right here. Let me just try that again. There we go. So you can see it's been removed from here. And that's basically it. That's basically how you can remove the Ask Copilot from the right click context menu. Not a real major deal to a lot of people, but if you don't want Copilot and you want to completely remove it all from your computer, you can use the uninstall Copilot and then you can go through and remove it from say Notepad and you can remove it from Paint like I've shown you before and you can now remove it from the right click context menu. The registry file is exactly what I've just showed you right here. It's just put into a registry file format and I'll try and leave a link for this on my website so you can download it and double click on it and remove it, save you having to mess around inside the registry. Anyway, with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below whether you use Copilot and whether you're interested to have this new feature which they've added to the right click context menu. I personally don't need it, but let me know your thoughts. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. If you haven't joined yet, then head over there. It's free to join. doesn't cost you anything, and join the conversation. Bye for now. <laughs>